It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives, a secretive organization that believes the markers are divine, and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the black marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the black marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Come on. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it? Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoints, and thank you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. No. Do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, oh, it's lost. What? Dang it!
Okay, Tim. You can do this. Who oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. Finally, some ammunition. a meter long. Do you see it?
Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth, and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son? Your mom and dad? Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. <laughs>